the internal construction is always the same regardless of diameter or length. So this, this air shaft, I loosened up the set screws, but this end cap comes off very easily. And then what you will do um, inside this air shaft, you'll see the air shaft, the outside of the air shaft is made of what we call interlocking segments. It's a leaf type air shaft. These segments all interlock with each other. So you slide one of these out and then you can see the internal construction of this air shaft. So it's very simple. We machine a, a, a thread, a geometrically uh, engineered thread into the body of the air shaft and then we wrap, um, we spirally wrap rubber tubing that mates up with that uh, geometrical shape inside the inside of the air shaft. We wrap that around. On one end, we have the valve coming in, so the air travels through the valve, through this copper extension into the hollow rubber tubing. It's clamped here, and on this end, we simply have a plug, and it's clamped here. So the air comes in, uh, pressurized air, and then the rubber tubing expands underneath the uh, segments, and that's uh, the expanding segments come out and engage your core.